in early 2015, the council told the community of Governors Bay that they had no plan to restore the Governors Bay jetty. Um, it had been closed since, uh, since just after the February 2011 earthquake and the community gathered and they just could not believe that that was the end of the jetty and it was going to be abandoned. So um, a committee was formed, nine people put their hands up and that was myself and eight other guys. When I put my hand up, Phil Jackson looked round at me, he also had his hand up and he said, you're brave. <laughs> And I thought, oh no, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> into? Governors Bay is a, a very close-knit community um, and it's the sort of people that live here um, just band together and just get things done. We formed a trust, charitable trust, and in April 2015 we stood up and made a deputation to the council asking them to allocate funding and to partner with the community and to part fund the jetty and so we could share all our skills and we started meeting with operational staff and it became clear that as it was a council asset, it had to be a council run project and it would cost the council a lot more as well because, because of their processes. We have however concerns about the surrounding the costings and repair strategy that are outlined in the council's OSAL report. Projected labour costs total $1.6 million. We think we can do better. So once we finally realised that the that the council would have to run the project and we would just be fundraisers. We met in the pub and we sat in a little snug room and we, and we, were, we had our beers and we were quite depressed and devastated because it looked like this was the end of our, of our chance to save the jetty. And we didn't quite know what to do, so we had the choice to either give up or find another solution. Um, and then somebody, I'm not sure who, might have been me, somebody came up uh, with the idea of transfer of ownership. We would buy the jetty for a dollar, it would belong to the trust, and the council would support us by funding. So they have allocated 500,000 at least in the long-term plan. And then we would fundraise the, 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 the remaining amount, do the project, and then we sell the jetty back to the council for a dollar, and then the council takes ownership of its maintenance in the longer term. So now we had the agreement, but it was another thing to get it signed. It had to go through, be approved by operations staff, and then by the legal team, and then by the finance manager, and then by a senior manager, and then once they'd all approved it, it had to go to a full meeting of the council to be voted on. So Nick Harwood and I sat in on that council meeting and we made our deputation. And I'm just, I haven't got any questions, I just think it's just great. <laughs> Andrew, did you have any? I don't have any questions because I've been very close to this project um, right the way through and I think it's great that we've, we've got this um, project at this point today. Um, this is about partnership, it's about collaboration, it's about council working hand in hand with the community to deliver the outcomes that the community have clearly said that they, um, they want to see. This is exciting, this is actually the kind of stuff that we came here as councillors to do. And then it came to the point where they had to vote and we held our breath and it was unanimous, the whole council in favour of, of the agreement and the jetty being bought by the trust. Jetty Restoration Trusts have finally received what they've been waiting for. Over the space of nearly two years, the trusts wanted ownership of the jetty to make repairs and bring the earthquake damaged structure back to life. Now we, we own the jetty, we can do the project, we have the skills on the, on the trust, we have engineers, we have law, a lawyer. So now that we own the jetty and we've got the skills, it's time for us to invite everybody to join us in our project to save the jetty. You can start today by joining the Governors Bay Jetty Restoration Trust. There's an online form, costs $20 a year, and together we will save the jetty.